Life is cruel, is it not? I sit atop a throne that crowns me the strongest man on this earth. Yet, I do not feel strength. All I feel is despair. Despair at my life. Despair at this position I find myself in. And despair at the weight of the world now on my back. A back that was never made to hold it. I always quietly resented my father. He was too good, too wise and strong. But now I see how great he really was. And although I resent him still, I have built a begrudging respect for what he did in his life. But it still angers me that he made me his heir, when clearly I was made to lead men in battle, not rule an empire. And my advisors, all they say in response is to thank the gods for my position. Ha! What do I have to thank the gods for? A face like a barbarian? The temperance of a volcano? The weight of the world crushing me beneath it? The gods I have found are cruel. To make a man's father so great, and then to make him so mediocre in comparison. And the cruelest trick the gods have played is that they have stolen away my sons. I have had no heirs. Perhaps it is for the best. This blood I have is tainted. Apollo's blood runs thin in me. I do not feel it cursing through my veins like my father or his father before him. Truly the gods are cruel, but I must remain strong. I no longer hate the world entirely, and my kingship has taught me at least some respect for the work of my fathers. So I will do all I can, no matter how flawed compared to my kin. And through gritted teeth, before my countrymen's eyes, I will thank the gods for all they've given me. It won't be long before my reign ends. And when it does, a true heir to Alexander can rise again. I just hope the gods don't play the same cruel tricks on the man I choose to become king. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium, Serectum version 0.5, and we are on episode 29, so we've got a cool couple of things coming when we get to episode 30, guys. We are going to do a toggle fog of war, and we are going to look at our nation in general, and, and see how it's faring versus all the others. I'm pretty sure we are the strongest nation on the earth right now, which is pretty cool. Honestly, pretty nice. Um, can we get this guy out of Itanos? Just about not. Just about not. So, let's keep that Hydaspis Hyd in there for now. Uh, we've got this guy to move. But apart from that, we're pretty much done with everybody. Uh, and we can uh, press the end turn, which is pretty good. Uh, in terms of what we are doing, we are going after Galatia, of course. Trying to get rid of them. It looks like they've only got three-ish more cities. Could do with this guy coming. Wait, is that my spy? Why can't he see this settlement? Because there's definitely a settlement in here in Salona. Unless I already know where it is. Ah, there's a fort there. Oh, interesting. It's a fort and a settlement by Thinion. There's also some big, fat Pontic armies over here, which look... Pretty scary. Not really something we're prepared to fight right now. We do have a lot of armies in this region, but like we said before, it is, you know, quite a uh, difficult region to take control of because of the massive cultural unrest in all of these regions. So we are just trying to get everywhere happy so that we can march forth. That is literally the main issue <laughs> right now is making sure that we get these places happy. We've got this army coming back. Uh, we're also recruiting an army in Pergamon. 
uh, over here. It's got one more turn. Actually, we're not recruiting in Pergamon right now. That's slightly weird. Let's get one of those guys retrained anyway. Uh, but we've got one more turn until the elephants maybe can get retrained. I don't think they can, actually. Um, so we might want to just get rid of them for now. Uh, but yeah, uh, plenty of training going on. We're on Crete as well. And we've got a massive war going on in the far north. A monstrous war uh, that we've seen. And this war has, has pretty much been pretty epic. The amount of back and forth. At one point, Bactria was all the way down here. The amount of back and forth we've done with the Parthians and the Bactrians, I've got to say, I think has been pretty in incredibly epic. <laughs> pretty incredibly epic. There you go. That's the quote of the day, guys, until I say something even more stupid, which is very likely. Um, I also have to keep an eye on our coming of age for our children, because, of course, I want to make Diodotos the heir, because that is Antiochus's favoured heir, because he doesn't have any children, as the um, intro has just said. So, yeah, he doesn't have any children at all. I think a, a watchtower would go quite nicely here, but for now, let's just go slowly. I'm going to take it off moving fast, and I think it will be slightly less uh, speedy. Oh, can we do a draw-out battle on Parthia? We can. Well, we'll do that eventually. Honestly, at this point, I kind of want to just siege this down because it's holding these two armies in here. This now tarp. Tacta, let's auto-resolve that. This army's not brilliant either, is it? It just has three generals. we got Carpus, Mr. Carpet, Perdiccas, and Antiochus. Antiochus. Yeah, 18 dead. That's fine. Antiochus, quite a really... When I say quite a good character, a fantastic character, in fact. But this army is really, really shit. <laughs> what is now Taka? It's just a minor city. So what I'm thinking is, I think it's Greek, isn't it? It is Greek. So let's get rid of you. Let's get out of the city. Only 8%. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's not fantastic. What buildings do we have in here? Well, we can delete that. Oh, they've upgraded the mines to level 2. They've got a Colony 4 Greek here. Level 3 Army Barracks as well, which is pretty nice. But quite a nice city, making a nice little bit of cash. I'm assuming now, you know, we're losing a lot of that to corruption. 842 to corruption. How about if you have another person in there? Might have to leave a general in here, but I really don't want to leave a general in this city because it's not great. They do have a fat full stack up there, and that's what I'm quite scared about. So it's at 68%. I think that's fine. So we'll repair that. That will help. And then it's also not trading with anyone. It's on 1,500. So as soon as it's trading, it's got to be making some serious cash. Uh, I mean, these are not great units. But we'll get the archers. Just because those archers are pretty darn good. We'll move the spy around. Maracanda. Now that's a settlement. That's a large city. Now that's something that we want to leave the general in, but they don't have anyone in there as well. So that's quite nice. I think it's got stone walls. We've seen them before. Stone walls. Very nice indeed. Yeah, now Tarka, that'll be fine after next turn. We'll keep on sieging down Kauris, and we will assault Nisa at some point. But let's have a look at some of our messages. So we've got City Expands Arsino Clisma. Let's get that upgraded because they're not too happy right now. We've had Aristocritus die, and the place is still happy, so that's fine. We've got Abrius come of age here, and Selefkos over here. So this guy's only 40, so there's no need for this guy to be in there. Do we have a, a governor in Sardis? We do. How about Pergamon? We do. So let's just have a look around. Is there anywhere that's got a really old person? Uh, well, Kaunos doesn't have a person in at all, so let's get in Kaunos. That'll be good. And then let's have a look at Selefkos, shall we? Where are you, my friend, Selefkos? Oh, you're all the way up here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Not many regions around here that don't have a decent general. Well, let's go to Acrobite. You can probably help it uh, get a bit, a little bit richer, would have been, which will be nice. Uh, faction announcements. Got some marriages, which is great. That means more children. We're still recruiting more cataphracts. Let's keep that up. And lots of building. 
going on. Very nice indeed. Oh, we had somewhere upgrade. Babylon's upgraded to a huge city now as well. Fantastic. Look at the amount of trade coming out of Seleucia. It's making 21,000 a turn. That's pretty nice. Babylon's only making 4,000. Really? How are you making so little compared to Seleucia? What does that give us? Uh, nothing at this level. It'll have to be the next level. I mean, a Great Agora doesn't even do anything. Maybe we can't have the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can't have the Spice Road here. Yeah, that's why. We don't have the Spice Road in Babylon. And it's just not got as many regions to trade with. So that's a bit unfortunate. You... Oh, yeah. you. He was sending you into the desert to go and live your life, my friend. Live your life. How much? How oh, 850. I was going to build him a fort then, but no, 850 is too much for that. We don't We don't want that. We do not want that. Right, let's make sure we are training in, in Pergamon because, of course, we don't want to not be training in Pergamon uh, while we can. I'm thinking we get some scythe chariots, you know, as well. Maybe a couple of units that we can add in. Oh, yeah, we've got... <gasps> we've got cavalry, boys. We've got cavalry. So... Let's go straight in. And we can actually get directly get General's Bodyguards now as well. Let's go straight in with the Cataphracts. Four of them. It's going to cost us a lot of money. But that's fine. That, we, I don't really care. <laughs> that's fantastic. Uh, can we get a Gear of Speeders here? No. We just don't have the population because we've <laughs> recruited it all. It's literally all in our armies now. You're coming up. You're going to join that army. So join them. Uh, you guys are going to there. Good. Fantastic. And we've got these guys. They're going oh, all the way over here. It's quite a long way, isn't it? Long way for retraining and recruitment, that sort of thing. But yeah, we are starting to build up uh, Iconion a little bit. Get a few more stables. We've also got Antioch over here, which is not that far away. That'll be able to recruit whatever it wants. Same with this region, we are building it up. Now, in the north, we've kind of moved everything we want to for now. So down here, let's just check. These guys can't move out yet. These guys are all moving. We can move Antiochus. He's 53 now. So that's the thing that's scaring me slightly is his age. Because I really don't want him to die before Diodotos becomes of age. Um, so let's get that. Oh, that's a pretty fat garrison in there, isn't it? That's going to be a bloody, bloody battle if we do fight that on the map, which we will do, of course, if it stays the way it does. Um, on Crete, we've got that battle to do. Down south, let's have a look. We've got these guys to keep moving. So let's get moving. Don't really want to move this guy too much further, because what if he comes up against the settlement? Or that pretty big army that was around. <laughs> Because he's there as our garrison. I mean, it looks like, like the settlement's all the way over here somewhere. So, still a long way to go. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so, let's take the battle against Parthia. We've not fought Parthia for quite some time. And let's do it. Uh, it's not the greatest army to fight Parthia. Oh, blamming heck. Looks like... Uh, Looks like they didn't want to take the fight. I was hoping they would, but yeah, looks like they didn't want to take it. Uh, we got this battle. These guys can't move quite yet. We're getting another army in Sardis and Pergamon. Like we've said, a very nice army. It's going to be fantastic. And yeah, we've got this battle to do. I'm, I'm kind of tempted at this point to auto-resolve this. Might result in a few deaths 120 i don't think it's bad but i know you guys don't want to see those battles anymore so yeah no point in me fighting that nice bit of damage done by the men uh you guys let's get one of you in nosos and let's see if we can just move straight on just come out my men 25 percent eh. 55 now these guys definitely can come out just about. Um, and then we were actually training some garrisons down here, were we not? Or has that... That's who we've dropped off, isn't it? 
Uh, well, let's come back. And let's see if we can get a couple more garrisons in uh, in the works. Was it here? Where was it? Is this one. So let's get, you know, say four more garrisons and get them in the get the boats in the port there. Very nice. Good. And you guys can go for Gortina. Now, in terms of our Isle of Heroes, guys, this is, of course, like we've said before, the Isle of Heroes. So we have Itanos here. But that it was the first place we took. So we're going to call it Antiochia. Oi, Kodomon. Uh, we can't do a hyphen, can we not? So I guess Oi, Kodomon. Now that means Antiochus the Builder. So that is named after Antiochus the Builder. Let me just check that, that Antiochia is how you actually spell it. Uh, we've got Antiochia. E E I A E I A. <laughs> I've done A E I A. So just E I A. Well, that's all wrong. So E I A. Antiochia Oikodomon. And then we're going to call this Ariathon. So Arie Ariathon. 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 So that is after Ariathus, our glorious, handsome commander, of course. This has suddenly gone down to 60%. Not a big fan of that. So let's just pop in the Shrine to Hera now. Um, but yeah, very nice indeed. Really nice. Uh, Rhodes is actually upset. Why are you upset, Rhodes? Let's just get the extra Temple of Tyke in there. That should be fine. Get it off Spacebar. Right then, let's have a go at building. Uh, and I'm thinking at some point, maybe not this turn, maybe the turn after this, we're going to have a big, big, big uh, drive to build anti-corruption buildings in, in uh, Anatolia. Because we need to. Like, these regions could become really rich. And that's not actually a lot of corruption there. But these regions could become really rich if we weren't, you know... So destroyed by corruption over here. Lots of corruption in this region. So we will start building them up. Now we need some more names for these. We might call one Adimanthon as well. Like we talked about before. Um, I think that's a good name. Let's get the Shrine to Hero in there. Let's get that there. Let's just build up this region slightly uh, from what it was before. I think also, do we have a look to see whether we can get some more... Uh, ports there. We can't. That's fine. Right then. Let's do some building. As usual. We'll just go from the top. We'll go for Damascus. Not too happy as Damascus. So, what do I want? Let's go for the Odeon. And let's go for... Let's go for public order and actually go through our public order this time. Because we've not been through it for a while. Petra's really upset. Let's go for that. That's probably a lot of these are... Uh, uh, are um, converting. So, Amadia. Never, probably never even built here, really. Um, Harmosia. It's a lot of these buildings in the east. So that's another reason why we're not moving our capital. It's also, you know, we won't move our capital because um, of thematic reasons. We want to be the Seleucid Empire, so Seleucia makes sense. Let's just build these simple temples in. It's not going to cost us a lot of money to keep these guys happy. So let's do it. What about Arganza? Quite not really that happy, is it? Right in the north there. Very, very far away from any of our current Touchwood front lines. For the trader there. A lot of these places don't get any love at all. So that's building the Odeon is always a good option. Uh, let's build the sewers there, though, instead. Because, of course, you can toggle games with the Odeon. So if you do get a rebellion, a riot, that sort of thing, you can just build the Odeon. Make them happy within a turn or so. So let's just build that. Baroya, let's build the Odeon as well. Uh, let's build the public baths there for the extra population growth. Heliopolis, Syria, again, population growth I think is better there. Metropolis, population growth as well. Alexandria, Carmania, which is actually a large city. Let's get the trade caravan, although they're not incredibly unhappy. So don't think we need to worry about that too much. Then over here in Arados, let's build the Temple of Hera. Uh, goodbye. I'm thinking probably Odeon, just in case, because it's a far eastern one. 
Let's go for the public baths up in Syrinx. Chambrax, Tagai, let's go for the baths as well. Uh, Melitine, let's go for the baths. <laughs> Uh, Nico Media, you are as well very, very far away from anything we've got. But let's build that vineyard. That'll bump up that money. It's actually quite a rich settlement, Nico Media. 2,800. Parnassos, only making 900. Let's build that population up. Anaza Boss, let's go for the market. And Ladokia, Libanos, let's go for the Odeon there. Palmyra is still only a large town. Wow. Let's build some farming there. Hibis. This is actually quite a good way of doing it because these are regions that we've hardly ever built in, honestly. Go for the Odeon there. Gordion. Let's build the sewers. Get that population growth going up. Laranda down here. Uh, let's build the market. And we're nearly out of money. Taoki. Taoki. Um, you're not the most useful settlement, really, are you? Let's go for the Shrine to Taik. Uh, Hermupolis, let's go for the public baths, and we've probably only got one more building, really. So let's go for the sewers down here in Takomso Selkis. Uh, one more, maybe? Jerusalem? Let's go for the execution square. How much corruption? Oh, my days! Jerusalem has some corruption. Wow! Well, that's going to help so much. <laughs> Minus 420, nice. Uh, but yeah, very good. Uh, look at these Ptolemaic... Ships! <laughs> fools. Fools, I tell you. Fools. But anyway, let's press the end turn. It looks like next turn we might be battle crazy. Battle crazy, I tell you. Oh, look at Pontus, though. That's going to be a seriously, seriously bloody, bloody war. The war against Pontus, because they have some nice troops. Some good troops. We're going to need cataphracts and elephants for that, I think. So it's a good job we are recruiting them. We've got a 48-year-old guy. No thanks. We've got another city expand, Seleucia Piera. That's actually quite good because we want that to become a recruitment hub. Loranda, let's get that in there. Armenia is spying on us. Uh, where's Polyperk on the thinker? Oh, he's actually governing uh, Seleucia. What a man. What a man. And also, let's get rid of those guys. Like, we don't need them. That's going to save us quite a lot of money every turn. Uh, but that's good. Uh, we are the most advanced faction. More advanced than the dummies once again, which is good. Uruk now has become a large city. Fantastic. Uruk's making some decent cash as well. Very nice to see. We are starting to rank up. Our nation, especially in these uh, central areas. So, we've got a few battles that we can do. We've got the battle for Nisa. I think I will actually fight this because it's quite symbolic, isn't it? That's their faction leader as well, the king of Parthia. And I just want to be on the battlefield to kill him. So, let's get on the battlefield to kill him, boys. Let's do it. I will see you there. Here we are. Let's go. And we have Eumenes. Not Eumenes. Eumenes. The Parthian warlord. On a trip to kill Parthia once and for all. Yes, he is a true man of the the people. I can't I can't hype him up anymore. It's big Eumenes, okay, guys. It's big Eumenes. And he's mean. And he's is, okay? You mean is. Yes. Words are words. And this battle, although it's not going to be massive, is going to be fun. Because I just want to kill the king again. We've killed the Parthian king so many times. It's like Parthia. They must be getting tired of it right now, having so many different kings. They couldn't quite have the glory of having a king for, you know, 50 years. Unlike our great empire with... Um, uh, sorry, Antiochus the Builder. Antiochus and uh, Oikodomos. Antiochus the Builder. What a man. What a legend. But Eumenes himself might build a legacy that is worthy to be remembered by. He may become one of our great generals. If he can finally get rid of the foolish horse lords, then he will definitely go down in the histories as one of our greatest generals. Um, here they are. Sogdian heavy horse archers. Now, they are 
a seriously good unit. We've got Persian Noble Cavalry, though, and they also are a seriously good unit. But you can see the damage that these guys are doing. I'm hoping I'm not doing too much friendly fire there. Probably doing quite a lot. If we can shoot that general, though, that'll be, uh, that'll be excellent. Because look at that. Parney general. They are some fat boys. Go on, lads. Absolute beastly boys. Look at them go. Whoop, whoop. Yes. Can't believe I just whoop, whooped. I'm not a juggalo, by the way, guys. So <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Oh, but anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, we're actually shredding them. Ish, kind of. Look at these guys throwing their jabbies. You think you're hard, mate? Come and have a fight. We're just absolutely ruining the boys. Hope they like it. I kind of want... Um, don't run in, boys. Don't run in. That's probably not the best idea. Let me change them. Let me stop them. Let me bloody stop the fools. Asian light spearmen. They're impetuous. Hmm. All right, let's get in. We, we have archer support. These boys will get shredded if the Parthian general charges them. So let's get us some support. Let's bring all these boys forward. If we can, we'll bring the Theroporoi forward as well. And of course, our general and cavalry, which will stick on the end. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, let's let's surround these Sogdians. It's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? Surrounded Sogdians for breakfast. Let's go. And then we've got a Parthian general body. I do like the Parthian cities because of the wide avenues. It's kind of like the Egyptian ones to get down into the middle. Temple complex. If they go there, this is surround surround town for the boys. Let's go. Surround town, I think. I think it's surround town. Let's get through like here. Surround town. Oh, look at our army now. The fat boys. Let's go. Come on, boys. Oh, look at these poor guys getting shredded. But don't you worry, son. Your glorious leader, you meanest. The meanest man in the west. In the east. <laughs> the meanest man in the east will save you, my friend. He'll save you. Glorious charge. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Deary, deary me. That's what we like to see, isn't it, boys? Nice. Well, I say boys. Boys and the one female who watches these videos. Kill them all. Kill them all. These Parthians are fools. They have done nothing but embarrass us with their presence for many years. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get these boys here. But what we're going to do first is we're going to get these boys here. Uh, and then, General Man, you can come this way. And we'll get the horse archers over there. Oh, look at the streams. We have pretty much become our own horde at this point. The streams of men. They're coming. They're coming for you all, men. We're coming for all you Parthian fools. And this has quite, been quite a fast siege battle, really, when you think about it. Um, yeah, if they come forward, we might have to stop. <laughs> So what have we got in here? These boys. Um, let's just go like there if we can. And then missile men, you can just like squeeze in behind if possible. Unfortunately, don't like to do that because they don't like to fire when it's like this. Oh, you guys just go there for now. Horse archers, let's get you through. Where's boss man? Eumenus. Glorious Eumenus. Uh, horse archers, like, hurry up, please. And then we'll charge them in the back, and they'll be dead very quickly. Like, very, very quickly. They are not, they're not strong in melee, these boys, unfortunately, for them. Boom. Oh, one charge. Come on, the boys. Yes, fantastic. And we killed the Parthian king. That should send a message 
to all these Parthian betrayers that we are not to be messed with. But anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And I'm genuinely considering... I know it's something that I, I don't recommend, but I'm genuinely considering exterminating them. Just thematically, it kind of works, doesn't it? You know, they betrayed us. So I think we exterminate Nisa. We probably won't exterminate the others. It'll also allow us to move a lot faster. And luckily, they have really, really suffered with the fact that we deleted all the military buildings in here as well. They even left our own temples and the Odeon in there. Let's get on to low. That's quite good. I don't want to make this into a um, into a recruitment hub anytime soon again. Because remember, we deleted all the uh, military buildings. <laughs> uh, so let's see what we can do about public order if we leave. I uh, kind of could have done with the generals on this side, really, when you think about it. Let's go on to the settlement details. Let's get that on to daily games. It's going to cost us a bit of money, but... Not too bad. And I'm thinking we stick one of these mercenary archers in there. I know they're expensive, but we can't retrain them, can we? So it's probably a better option. If we get two in there, how about that? Yes, they'll accept it. So let's go. Come on. Attack him. What do they have? That's the question here. Oh, lots of horse archers. Going to auto-resolve that. Luckily, it was an okay auto-resolve. And we got all these... Uh, Siege towers. Now, we know where the rest of their settlements are, don't we? So, they got one there, one there. And this, this, so this is, that's my land. Karazamine. Ditik Karazamine. And I think that's it, right? I mean, this is all Bactrians. So, three settlements. Is this Karazamine? Yes. So, two more settlements. And we can finally get rid of... Of the scourge of Parthia. But it looks like we're moving quite quickly across this land now. Mainly because we've got a general compared to when before we didn't. Uh, no roads going this way, which is a bit upsetting, honestly. Uh, but yeah, resistance is futile. Rebellion is very futile when it comes to our empire, isn't it? We do not like rebellion one bit. Right, let's uh, have a look at this. I think we're going to auto-resolve them. Oh, 270. But like I say, guys, we're going to be auto-resolving a lot of these sieges from now on. These smaller sieges, you guys don't want to see them unless it's something like that that's a bit special, a bit different. So, yeah, there's no point uh, playing those. They take a bit of time, and you guys don't really want to watch them too much. If I really wanted to min-max it, I could um, play it off-screen. But I kind of want to auto-resolve some of them as well. Now, this army... Isn't fantastic, is it? Let's be honest. So, let's put that on low. Let's get rid of this. They haven't repaired that for ages. So, I don't know what they're doing in that sense. What are these? Oh, a farmland one and a shrine to Atlas as well. Which is a, you know, shrine to law. Lots of repairing needed doing. Let's also get the shrine to Hera. So, we'll have double law in this settlement. Which is pretty nice. It's also a large city. Doesn't have much recruitment options, though, so we're not going to make it into a recruitment hub just yet. Now, Karakata, how are you looking as a recruitment hub? Actually, quite good. I'm just scared of this army. We'll wait a turn, and if this army doesn't move, what I will do is I will leave Perdikas in here because he's a dick, and he's also trash, uh, and then send the rest of these boys, all these boys that can get retrained, back down to Karakata for retraining. Uh, yeah, so I think, yeah, we're doing pretty well in the north. And I'm going to leave that there because I love, I would absolutely love if Diodotos came and attacked us. So we've got Adimanthos the Lewd. Uh, we've got uh, Antiochus over here. Uh, and we've got uh, Eumenes. Those are the three northern legends that are doing so many things right for us currently. Now we have this battle to do. Which will be brutal. So we'll wait a little second for that. Now we can get you guys in there. And we might be able to actually move on. With our boy. Uh, and Dragoras the Handsome. The man who did. And kind of. Concluded the reforms for us. Oh look at that garrison. Okay no. We've got a draw out battle. And it wasn't. It is quite a big garrison. So we'll do that battle as well. So in terms of the battles, we've got this one, we've got 
this one, and we are just blitzing through a lot of land. We kind of go through stages where we, you know, we we do a lot of campaign management, and then we do a lot of battles all together, all together. But let's do another auto resolve on this one. Should be a clear victory. Problem here is just public order. We don't really have enough troops. Could we leave Nosos with one? We can, just about. So, let's get the boys out. Obviously, that's really hurt the Agira Speeders. So, what I'm thinking of doing, we'll cut this army down in size. We'll... So, let's just combine you two. So, it's 103 we need for a full unit of Agira Speeders. So, anyone else that we could... So, 77, 97... Yeah, that's, that's just not quite enough so what we'll do is we'll take all these boys we'll leave them behind we'll leave them them and them and they can go in there and they can go back for reach once we've taken crete we'll go back for retreat that's the wrong way around that's the wrong way around um you guys let's go then come through I think there's only, like, two more settlements on Crete. Two or three. I think it's only two, though. And it, this one normally doesn't have a wall. Yeah, Kaidonia. So, it's only two. And we will have taken all of Crete. So, that would be pretty nice. You get in there. Will you be enough? Nowhere near enough to make them happy. And I have moved the army before I'd even check that. So, that was honestly quite dumb. Really quite dumb. The unrest should go down, though. So if we get, if we repair that and get the Shrine to Hera, we should be okay next turn. Maybe in a couple of turns. Had another couple of cities expand. Akrabai and Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem becoming a huge city. For the boys, let's go. And we're now suddenly making 92,000 a turn. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty spicy. Um, right. You guys are in Sardis for your armor upgrades. Uh, we're not recruiting there, are we? We're recruiting the cataphracts there. Are we recruiting anything in Sardis? Is there anything we want to recruit in Sardis? Not really. It's just not quite up to the level yet. Needs to get to a huge city and then it will be. So let's get that crop rotation in there to make sure it does sometime soon. Got those battles to do. Where's our man on the way? You're going to join them. This will be a big Celtic battle, this one. This will be great. This will be glorious, honestly. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Very nice indeed. How's Antioch doing in terms of its recruitment? Yeah, one more cataphract and then we can actually send them north to join this army. That'll be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> and we got these guys to move down here. And then I think that's everyone moved, right? Um, I'll just tiptoe this guy along. Tiptoe. We can see an army now has popped up. Oh, there we are. We can see everything now. That's a pretty fat army, honestly. But I think we can take them. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Yes. And that's a very experienced army. It seems like a waste sending it all the way down to here. But we're just going to have to, aren't we? <laughs> Unfortunately, we're going to have to. Right then, before we spend all our monies, let's go for a big battle. And Dragoras, this is your time to shine, my man. This is your battle to prove that you are the greatest commander in Anatolia. Oh, Celtic heavy swordsman. Swordsman. Uh got some naked warriors so fortunately guys i won't be able to zoom in very much because otherwise youtube will flag up the video with the naked warriors uh, well, let me just check i'll just check for a second guys whether there's an option to turn them off or not unfortunately there is no option to turn them off so we are going to be fighting saucondarius of the trochmi got a bit of bit of command and a uh, kauros of the tecto sausages or the Tecto Sages. <laughs> the Tecto Sausages. And their armies look pretty darn good, don't they? Now, I think we're going to have to rely heavily on our own cavalry here. In fact, what I'm thinking is, what if we have a look 
match their violence with our own violence if we can find Pisidian Javelin Men, Kilikian Pirates. Cool unit, but not quite what we're after. We've got Galatian Swordsmen, so they're actually not great. So maybe their uh, Swordsmen aren't going to be fantastic. I think... Uh, any cavalry that we can get will help us. So let's get the Asian cavalry. Not a fantastic unit, but not terrible non uh, either. And then let's just go for the, an extra hoplite. Uh, that'll just help us out. So uh, we've got some extra units. Because this battle, I can see this battle being very, very, very bloody. So let's get on with it. Let's get on the battle map. And let's smash some Celts to pieces. Yes. Yes, I can't believe they've built one of their filthy monuments in Greekland. Terrible. What are they doing? Absolute fools, I tell you. Absolute fools. Right, we're going to have a center. So, no, we're not. We're going to have a center of Chalka Speeders. Honestly, this Chalka Speeders, we'll keep them in the center, but it, it's fine. We'll have... What a, yeah, it's going to be an awkward one, this, isn't it? Let's go Theroporoi on one side and the Hydaspis and everything on the other. So let's get you there. And let's go with these boys on the other side. And we will group all these men together. Get you all together grouped. Then cavalry-wise, I'm thinking, honestly, for now, we're going to group all our melee cavalry together. And we're going to react to what they do. Have our archers in front. And we'll have these guys on the right-hand flank. And right. Let's go. They're going close to where their, you know, reinforcements are going to come from. We're going to go quick. So, because I want to destroy this smaller army first quite quickly, if we can, while the other army's coming in and worrying about itself. Looks like they're retreating to the top of the hill. Not too bothered by that. The Celts are a tough, tough prospect, guys. Because if you don't know, the Celts have very, 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 very good troops. But I think we can get a bit thinner, honestly, with our with our boys. Um, the Celts have really good troops. But one thing that we have in our favor is our troops aren't as good as the Celts in the base. But we have a lot of experience. I know a lot of their troops do have some good experience as well. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be chaos. I can't wait. <laughs> Come on, the boys. Let's go. This is going to be pure and utter chaos. Let's try and get that general. I think we do have better generals than them as well. So we've got to remember that. Uh, and we're going to try. We'll try surround this left flank. And then they can do what they want on the right hand flank. We'll probably spread out that right hand flank slightly. Have all my Theroporoi got fire at will on? They do. I don't really want them to waste money on those terrible chariots that aren't going to do any damage. So, our men are getting slightly tired now, but I think this is the uh, the, the point when they're going to start charging down the hill into the phalangites. Very nice. And that's what I want them to do. I want them to charge down this hill towards me. And we will uh, we will slowly but surely surround them and break their will. Here we go. Oh, how did you get how did you run through the phalangites? That's silly, bro. All these guys should have thrown a javi, but they didn't. I guess the enemy was just too quick. Let's come forward. Right, now it's time for the cavalry. There's, there's, we can't really do anything else. We just need our cavalry to get in the fight. We've got our Hydaspis over here. So the right flank looks to me like our most vulnerable flank. So let's get round. Let's try and break this left-hand flank if we can. What are you? Galatian archers. I don't think you're going to stand up to much. Let's try and get that Galatian general if we can. Uh, and looking at it, yeah, it's our right flank that's really struggling right now. Or maybe even our center, honestly. So that's why we need to get those Hydaspis in there as quick as possible. What are you? Oh, Galatian noble cavalry. Screw the archers. Let's get into the back of them. Because they're really going to hurt this unit. So let's go, boys. Come on. We need to. And I'm going to rally the men as we get close. Rally. What's this trying to chase us? K 
Celtic Light Cavalry. You are not going to be much of a problem, my friend. So let's get rid of them. Those poor Galatian archers are just going to get caught in the crossfire. Come on. We should be beating them better than that. Come on, boys. You're Zistaphoroi. So we have surrounded them quite well over there. It's just that general. That general is really, really piling on the pressure on our center. What are you? Galatian swordsman. Thinking, let's go for a charge on the Celtic swordsman over this side. Like I said, they are very good. They are very good. So come on, boys. Let's go. We've got to get a good charge off here. This is really where our center has crumbled. Our center has really, really crumbled. I need to get rid of that general if I can. Kill that Galatian warband. Broken. Let's get them all. Let's get them all. If we can go down the chain. These guys are eager though. No, I don't think we'll break the heavy swordsman with that. Where's that general now? What are you guys? You're the mercenary hoplites. Let's get around. Let's go and fight the naked uh, the Celtic Galatian swordsman. So we've killed them. Get in there now, boys. Get in there. That's what we need to do. Get them quickly. No, I don't. Let's go into this block. This block is the next block that we need to get into. And not the, the heavy swordsmen are not something we're going to be able to kill very easily. So, fuck these guys. Just kill them. Just kill them. Rally the men, boys. Rally the men. They're broken. Right, get into order. Come on. You are our, our final hope, my men. You are our hope. Right, here's the general. Here's the general. He's exposed. Quick. Let's go. Let's get him. He should be on this left-hand flank at the front. Oh, that's a great charge. Come on, the boys. Let's go. This is it. Come on, kill the general. Their other general is just wreaking havoc right now. There's not much we can really do about him. Uh, so let's get this general at least. I don't know which one. Yes, good. That's one of the generals. Now straight into the back of the Galatian infantry because I think they might be from this army. I don't think we're going to be able to kill this whole... Uh, now into them. Now into them. Now into them, boys. Now into them. Let's go. Broken. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. Morale damage for the win. Let's go. <laughs> right, you boys. I need phalangites. Let's go. Go fight them. You boys, whoever you are. Yeah, you're the Hydaspis and that. You need to come over here. We need to get out of the way of this. Get in there. Not bother about those chariots at all. Here's the general, though. Here's the general. Can we go for it? Can we go for a cheeky little charge on the Mr. General? Ah, the, the archers are just too quick. We have really been damaged on this left flank as well. This is just chaos. Chaos battling. Chaos battling. But let's go. Let's keep going. Right. You guys, let's get you properly in position. Our cavalry has really done a lot of damage here. But the naked warriors are, are doing quite well. So let's get out. Let's get out. We need to kill that general. He's just chasing after archers, you know. Fight them. So we're going after those naked warriors. This is chaos. This is utter chaos. Let's fight those. Galatian infantry. This is just chaos, chaos, chaos. Theroperoi, come on. Let's get you in the fight against the heavy swordsman. I know you're not going to do a huge amount of damage, but it's fine. Uh, what are they? Galatian Swordsmen. They're really good as well. All right, let's see whether we can get a nice little charge off here. Rally. There we are. Broke them. Let's go. Let's kill as many as we can as well while we're at it. That's what we like to see. Are these Galatian infantry? Yes! Okay, 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 okay. That's it. That's good. That's good. Straight into these guys while they're shaken. Let's go. Let's go. And then if we can get rid of them, we've not got a huge amount left. Wavering, let's get rid of them. Come on, they've got huge morale uh, penalties here. Let's go. We've got the heavy swordsmen, though. That's a major issue. I don't think we're going to catch those guys. They're just too quick. We're getting caught by infantry at this point. Ah, these guys are broken. Right, let's get over here. Let's get out the way. Get out the way. What have we got left? What have we got left? What do we have left as well? You guys fire into the back of those naked warriors. This is a brutal battle. This is brutal. We're definitely not taking the city after this battle. Let's go through the middle of the naked warriors. Let's just pound and ground them. No, that's the wrong way around. Ground and pound them. That was the worst charge I think I've ever seen. 
That was absolutely terrible, boys. You literally all died. You literally just died on the charge, you fools. Guys, move! You're so fucking slow. <laughs> come on, fight the phalangites. Yes, come on. Come on, what do we have? What do we have? Right, boys, we've got these two boys. I think we need to kind of regroup a bit. Where are they? Let's go charge into the Galatian Swordsman and let's regroup with the rest of our army. This is tight. We might still... I mean, it looks likely that we are going to lose this because our cavalry is just so fucked. Oh, that's a good charge. That's a really good charge. Come on, boys. That's what we come for. That's what we live for. Oh, I've got the coughs. I'm that into this battle. The eight Chalka Speeders that survive. Come on, the boys. Oh, fight them, for God's sake. Don't just walk along getting killed. Right, archers, let's bring you forward. You can still have a part to play in this battle, my friends. You, like, pretty much killed the general, so I'm so proud of you. Look at that cavalry. Down to the last few men. Let's go. We still got a decent high pass this unit, though. That's really going to be important. Let's go. Who do we have left? Heavy swordsman versus high pastist versus hoplites. Let's go. Let's get you guys around. Let's see if we can, you know, flank them somehow. Um, I hate these chariots, man. They absolutely shred, shred uh, cavalry. They really shred cavalry. Don't stop that. Just fire. Fire, guys. You're useless. Let's charge the back of the uh, heavy swordsmen because they, they're going to be the, the real key here. Can we kill them or not? We've got archers versus our Chalka Speeders. If you guys can fire at them as well. Right, let's get around this side. If we can break them, that's going to be the battle. But it looks very unlikely that we are going to. They're a bit unhappy now because of uh, exhaustion. Exposed flanks. So if we can, you know, expose their flank a little bit even more. With a dirty little charge. Let's go. Rally the men again. Come on, this has got to be it. This has got to be it. Shaken. Broken. Let's go. Come on. Kill them. Yes. Kill them all. Yes. Glorious. 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 Right. We could still lose though. Right. What do we have left? So I think honestly, let's chill. Let's chill. Let's chill. Otherwise, our men are going to rout just due to exhaustion. We've still got our general. That's the main thing. And we've got very few cavalry left. <laughs> Let's get them all rested. Let's get rested. Let's speed it up. This is, a, this is just glorious, guys. This is a glorious, glorious battle. Are they going to withdraw? Probably not. Let's see if we can fire on them. We can fire on those naked warriors. Yeah, you fire at them. I hope that's the last one that they have. Uh, we might lose against the archers if we do an archer versus archer battle. Uh, they've run out of thingy, so I think you should chase after them. You're still, uh, you know, you're still fresh. It'll stop them from firing as well. Oh, it broke. It routed them. Right. Well, let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's get in the fight. We've held them for a bit. Rally again. Go for the charge. Oh, that was quite a good charge this time. Oh, the gods be praised. And Dragoras, you are an absolute boy. How many did we kill? I mean, it says 7%, but I, I think that's bollocks. Right, let's uh, let's chase these down with the, with the few cavalry we have. Speed that up. I don't even think our cavalry can keep up. They're that exhausted right now. Um, but yeah, these guys are definitely not going to be able to keep up. Get that bigger unit. Oh, oh, what a battle. What a battle. That was so close. Oh, well, we beat the Celts anyway. General's bodyguard coming in. Absolute ham. Zista Foray as well. Fair play. Hypastis doing okay. One not doing so great. 
Some of the Hoplite, 109. Fair play to you. Oh, that was brutal, 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 brutal battle. We did lose a sister for our unit, but everyone else should be okay. I very much doubt we've taken the city, though, but we will see, guys. What a glorious battle. Oh, glorious. We did take the settlement. That is fantastic. Let's enslave. Get them down to low. And I think we might need a bit of retraining in this army, guys, don't you? Oh, but what a battle. What a battle. 7% population growth here as well. What are these? Happiness. I don't think we can expand them. So... Yeah, unfortunately, they've got to go. I got an elite tax in here as well. We'll leave that. Give us some extra income. I said I wasn't going to build any, but didn't say about, you know, keeping them for uh, when we take them off, uh, off the enemy. Um, I'm just so buoyed after that glorious victory. What a victory. What a battle. Oh, that's one of my favorite battles we've done in this whole... Um, this whole campaign. And I think right next to your father's town, we have, we have to, after that, we have to, we can go and drag Orion. And drag Orion. There we are. After, what a glorious name for a town. That is fully worth it. What a man. What a general. Very good indeed. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> uh, Gordion over here. Pretty happy. Uh, we are bordering the Pontics right now. I think what we also need to do is, is probably learn from that battle a little bit. And yeah. <laughs> um, probably assaulting this is not going to be easy. I mean, they don't have a huge amount of infantry, but with the two generals and the horsemen... I think we... Seven turns. I think we wait a couple more turns. I'm also very scared about what Pontus is going to do next. Because clearly they're not happy right now. <laughs> uh, how's Antioch looking? Still good. Uh, and we are recruiting over here. We are... We really need to get this up to the next level of city. ASAP. Uh, we are still building there. So I've got to remember to upgrade that next turn. How are we doing over here? Good. And anything to do up here? No, we're going to wait for that one. So let's have a look. I think if we go down the road, that these are the only two and then three. And maybe four settlements up here. They do have a big army in the way. And we don't have the greatest of armies. Uh, but we're going to wait a turn, like I said. And then we're going to take the rest of the units back for a bit of retraining. Now, Karakata. While we're here in Karakata, let's recruit. Let's get fourth Oroporoi in there. I know we're spending a lot of money on troops again, but it's fine. So let's start upgrading uh, the some of the settlements from our newfound wealth. 100,000 a turn now after those few conquests. Just pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty spicy. Uh, no, we don't need Execution Square in Uruk. I don't know why I'm building that. Let's just go for the Merchant's Quarter. Should help with the wealth there. Alexandria Charax. I don't think their port can trade. No, it can't. So no point upgrading that. Let's go for the awesome Temple of Tyke. Because it will allow us to get some more money in the future. Not right now, but in the future. Same with Susa. Apamea Kibotos. Oh, Spice Road. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, a bit of farms in Sagalassos. Iconian. Oh, where is Iconian? Iconian's only a minor city over here. Was Iconian the one we were upgrading? Or was it... Yeah, it was. Yeah, we've got the good barracks in there. So let's smash out the Hippodrome as well. That now allows us to retrain uh, Chalka Speeders. Also train Neocretan Archers over here. Which is pretty nice. And get Thorakitai. Do we need any more troops? I mean, <laughs> we always need new, more more meat for the uh, for the armies, boys, don't we? We've also recru recruited all of them and an archer. Can we leave them? Yeah, we can. 
So I think we'll send these guys north to garrison. Uh, potentially even east if we need to. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, what's in there? Yeah, we've got a few men around in this region. Hopefully after a while when they, you know, convert to our culture, they should be happy enough and we'll be good. Well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. That was a pretty great episode. I absolutely loved it. We took, like, three cities here. We took Ankira. We sieged these guys down over there for the massive battle for Ankira. Uh, we fought the battle for Nisa as well. And we took uh, now Tarka and Marakanda up there. So pretty nice. Getting ready to show you the Toggle Fog of War next episode, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. It was great fun for me, that episode. Really good fun. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. So leave a like and a subscribe. That'd be fantastic. And I will see you all again on the next video.